peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion. Today, we're going to talk briefly about the life of Samson. Not what he did wrong, but merely how he recovered. Sometimes, we create our own storms in life, and they call it self-inflicted storm. This can be because of one or many choices motivated by our own lust and passion. You see, lust says, I want it when I want it, regardless of what God says or what God wants, and I must have it now. Samson had that desire. He lust and he had a passion to go after what he lusts. How are you doing today? Are you creating your own storms? Or are you trying to do the will of God? You see, God has set boundaries for us. And when we go against them, we will reap the whirlwind. Because of the wrong choices Samson made, he lost his freedom. He lost his sight. He was blind. And more importantly, Samson was enslaved by the Philistines, the enemy. As a result of Samson's sin, the God of Samson was not diminished. Samson's God, Elohim, was still all-powerful, ready to restore the repented heart, bringing peace to our storms. And God of Samson is the same God today. He has not changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we have created our own storms by following our lust and passion. God can save us. God can restore us. God can make a difference, but we must repent and turn to him. Otherwise, storms of life will destroy us. I like how Samson recovered. After all he went through, he did not give up on God because God did not give up on him. And our meditation comes from Judges 16, 28. And it says, Then Samson called to the Lord and said, O oh Lord God, please remember me and please strengthen me only this once, O oh God that I may be revenged on the Philistines for my two eyes. The word of God to the people of God. Would you cry out to God today in your self-inflicted storm? Would you say, oh God, remember me this once. God waits to hear the repentant heart. He waits to hear the heart that says, yes, I have sinned. I have come short. I have caused this. Forgive me. God hears and he answers prayers. And so if you're going through your self-inflicted storm today, know that God is waiting for you to return in repentance and forgiveness, and he will bring peace. He will calm your storm. Father, thank you for your grace that is sufficient and your strength that is made perfect in our weakness. When we are weak, you are strong. When we are faithless, you remain faithful. You cannot deny yourself. So we commend to you. We commit to you today as believers. Because of our own lusts and passions, we have wronged, we have strayed, we have done wrong in your sight. So we ask your forgiveness. We ask your healing, your deliverance, and cause even now the storms that we are dealing with that we may overcome because of your power, because of your presence, and indeed because of Holy Spirit. We commend to you today, those who lead the nations, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, their families, we pray the blessings of God Almighty upon them even now. We pray for leaders everywhere, those who lead the body of Christ in particular. May we continue on the war, may we continue in prayer and advancing the gospel, 
of Jesus the Christ. We thank you today. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. May we indeed seek you and seek the peace of the city. We thank you for your grace and your mercy towards us. We commend to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you as we make wise choices even today to please God, to serve God, to obey God, in that he will bring peace to us. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.